Ugh. Space, the final frontier. Okay. People have been curious about the moon since ancient times. Way before humans, 20 dogs, 42 mice, a monkey, and even some fruit flies circled the moon. Who thought fruit flies was a good idea? How do you even make a spacesuit that small? It wasn't until the 1950s that Laika, the first space dog, reached orbit as part of the Sputnik mission. Laika, this is mission control. What do you see? Sausages? Yuri Gagarin was the first man in space in 1961. He was chosen because he had an excellent memory, great reflexes, and at five foot two, he was small enough to fit, uh, sorry, this is Yuri, who was five foot two and did fit into the cramped cockpit. Bye. In 1969, Neil Armstrong was the first man on the moon. This is NASA. What was that you said? We didn't quite catch it. Can you repeat your words for the nation? That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. The moon is 384,400 kilometers away from Earth. It would take you roughly five months to drive that distance in a car. Can you imagine that journey? Of course, rockets are faster. A rocket will travel at 7.9 kilometers per second and will reach orbit in eight and a half minutes. Once in orbit, it would then take three days to get to the moon. It was Sir Isaac Newton who first looked into the speed and fuel needed for an object to leave our planet way back in the 17th century. <laughs> He also made lots of discoveries about force and gravity. Without these, space travel wouldn't be possible. Legend has it that he designed the mathematical bridge at Cambridge University to teach students about his ideas. But even with his knowledge of force, gravity and bridges, Sir Isaac Newton one of history's most important scientists would have struggled to have built a bridge to the moon because it would take 40 billion Lego bricks. I happen to think of myself as a bit of a master builder though. Why don't we give it a go now? You've got time to watch me do this, right? billion Lego bricks. This might take me a while, but given that the moon has been around for four and a half billion years, I think I might have some time. Even the footsteps made by the last man to walk on it 46 years ago will still be there. That's because there's no wind on the moon. Those footsteps will be there forever. Unless, of course, someone else or something else clears them away. So don't forget, if you're planning on taking a trip to the moon, it's going to take you three days, traveling 384,400 kilometers to get there. Well, until I finish building my bridge, of course. 